Well, what we're doing is we're, we're trying to show people one of the main tools that we use in some of the hard to reach places for trimming trees, and that would be the aerial saw behind me. It's, uh, it's a very cost effective tool, it's very efficient. The saw is going to cut about 700 miles of transmission lines this year, it's also going to cut along smaller distribution lines. But the nice thing is that it can do in maybe about a day what it would take a ground crew to do in a week, especially in hard to reach areas where you got to have guys climbing trees and you have to have people up in the, in the bucket trucks. So this is a very cost effective, um, efficient tool. We don't use it everywhere. It's not going to replace any, you know, all the conventional means that we do from the ground, but in hard to reach places, it really is a great tool. Uh, this helicopter here is a, a MD-500. It's a, a turbine helicopter, a four-seat, and uh, we mainly use it, as you can see, for utility purposes, sawing and construction. And you said that um, typically you never have passengers in the helicopter with you. Why is that? Um, not while we're sawing. We don't have passengers because the saw weighs about 900 pounds altogether, so we're kind of at our max gross weight, so we can't really take any extra people. And as you can see, we've Got the doors taken off and the back seats taken out, so try to get rid of weight so we can have the performance to, to do the job we need to do with the saw. The size of these blades, they're 25 inches in diameter. And, uh, they're pretty big. As you can see, they come up to pretty much my thigh. How, how big a limb can you get through? Uh, pretty much, I've cut limbs up to maybe that big around, but I have to kind of hit it on one side and then get on the other side and hit it again try to hit in the same spot where I'll cut it in half. I know flying a helicopter is kind of diff a different experience anyway. What's it like having this huge blade that I need to blow? <laughs> oh, it's like learning to fly again. It's totally, totally different than normal flying. It kind of drags you around because it weighs so much. And as you're dragging it through the trees, it kind of jerks you around a little bit. And it's totally different. Uh, it's a different feeling. So you're a helicopter pilot and at some point somebody comes to you and says, I want you to take a saw and chop down trees from all the way up there. What was that experience like? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was totally different. Like I say, it's a uh, learning to fly and then to put, hang, hanging a saw in there is a whole different ball game. It's, uh, it's totally different and it was kind of scary at first, to be honest. So. And there's got to be some sort of technique. You don't just take off with the saw on your helicopter chopping. Yeah, stuff. no, you don't just start out with a saw. You start out with a cable and then you kind of learn how to fly an external load and then you kind of work your way into the saw. And then you learn to fly the saw around before you actually try to saw something on the right of way. So it's kind of a long process. 